Hey, what's up guys? I thought we'd do something a little different today and uh, I'll do an updated tour of the game room and instead of music playing, this time you get to listen to me talk a little bit. So, to start, uh, we're actually in the bar area of the house where I've got a couple games stashed. Uh, this is a project I worked on with my dad uh, to house all the bottles and stuff. It's got LED lights. Pretty fun little project. Uh, this is the current project I'm working on, uh, which is a barrel system that uh, we're going to hook up to a couple keg raters. Uh, that way I can always have beer on tap. It's going to be really cool. Uh, a TV up in the corner. Uh, this is Donkey Kong. Uh, one of a couple of uh, video games over here. It's got the Attract Sound mod. Uh, over here, uh, we've got a Warlord's Cocktail. Um, Condition-wise, this is probably one of the nicest games in my collection. And uh, sadly, I actually sold it yesterday, so today is its last day in the game room. And it's going off to uh, Texas, if I'm not mistaken, so... See you later, Warlords! Alright, let's go into the main game room of the house. Uh, this is the old bookcase. Pull the book. Door opens up. Come on in. Alright, first up, uh, we got The Walking Dead. Uh, this is actually the pro model of the game, but I really liked the premium trans light, so I picked one of those up, popped it in. Got Negan's bat hanging up over the, uh, the machine. Got the governor's fish tank up top. Um, this one's got a color DMD that I just installed uh, a few weeks ago. I think it looks really cool. I've got this game pretty modded. Uh, all sorts of modifications that I've done to it. That tank in the corner, the tower, uh, these like barbed wire, uh, EL wire, railroad track. I have all sorts of stuff. Um, this is probably the game I play the most, if I'm being honest. Just a really, really cool game. And if we come around, uh, there's this creature from the Black Lagoon. Uh, this is actually the second creature machine that I've owned. Um, this one, I got signed, uh, the translate signed by Julia Adams uh, and Rico Browning, uh, who are um, from the original film, which I thought was really cool. Um, this one's got a green DMD that I'll probably eventually replace with a color DMD. Um, speaking of color DMD, uh, next up we got Scared Stiff. I just put this color dot matrix display in here uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, this one, Translite, uh, got signed by Elvira at a convention. That was really cool. She was super nice and still drop-dead gorgeous. And uh, this one's also got you know quite a few modifications that I've done to the game. It's got the LEDs. It's got the dancing boogeyman. Uh, it's got the skull pile on the back. Um, I've also got a skull pile on top as a topper that... Uh, I don't have it turned on right now, but it flashes. It's got red LEDs, so the skulls light up. You can hook it up to a fog machine, and the uh, fog will billow out of the eye holes. Pretty slick. All right, next we got Monster Bash. Uh, probably my favorite game in the, the entire collection. Uh, this was like my holy grail pinball machine. Just really, really fun. Um, got a color DMD in this one as well. Also got... A, uh, God, LEDs don't photograph well, it just looks so bright, but I, I assure you in person it looks really, really cool. Um, all sorts of LEDs put in. I got a LED strip at the bottom, so it lights up the bottom half of the play field. Same thing at the, uh, at the top. Uh, just a really awesome game. <laughs> Alright, uh, next up we got Bram Stoker's Dracula. Um, this one also has a color DMD. That's the uh, LED version of the dot matrix display. I just installed that um, uh, Just a few days ago actually um, This one's pretty stock to be honest other than uh, Just doing LEDs and stuff uh, and swapping out the flipper bats, but other than that not a whole lot of modifications I had put those uh, spotlight bulbs in there and then some bulbs down at the bottom as well or a, a little uh, LED strip and then up top we got a uh, custom neon sign that I had made for the game room. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, we got a little Frankenstein guy. He stands and kind of watches over everything. Got this little monster dude that hangs from the ceiling. I don't have him turned on, but he likes to he'll gyrate and scream at you and light up and stuff. It's pretty cool. All right, next we got the Adams family. 
I uh, just picked this one up about a month ago. I uh, put a, cut, a color DMD in it. I didn't do a whole lot else. Um, I put uh, mirror blades on the sides, but this one was already LED'd out when I got it. Uh, really clean game, plays really well. Pretty psyched to have it. I had a an Adams Family uh, several years back, but I sold it, so it was really cool to get this one, get this one back in the collection. Uh, next, we got the newest game in the collection, Ghostbusters. Um, I picked this one up uh, like in October. Uh, really cool. This is the the premium uh, premium version, so it's got a few extra bells and whistles. It's got this uh, ecto goggle thing over here, where sometimes a ghost will appear in the screen, and then you hit it with the ball. It's really cool. Super fun game. Um, I also uh, mounted behind the uh, the trans light this projector that uh, puts ghosts up on the ceiling, which makes it kind of fun. Oh, and at a convention, I met uh, Billy Bryan, who is a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, so I got him to sign a picture. And actually, before we go to the next room, let me show you that. I got all sorts of signed stuff. Uh, a lot of horror-related things kind of all around the room. Um, this wall is pretty much all signed stuff from people that I've met at conventions. Oh, Gunnar Hansen! Rest in peace, buddy. Uh, Bruce Campbell, Malcolm McDowell, there's another Elvira one. Danny Trejo, that's your school stuff, Linda Blair. Let me go around the other way, here's the pins again. And then on the other wall, uh, we got some more signed stuff from the Evil Dead. Uh, I got this, ah, it's hard to get it with all the lights in here, but that's a Nightmare on Elm Street translate, uh, signed by Robert England, Freddy Krueger. More signed stuff. And then over here, got George A. Romero, uh, Walking Dead issue signed by a few of the actors from the show. Got the Negan issue. I think that pretty much does it for this room. Let's go upstairs and I'll show you our other game room. <laughs> Call this one room 237. It's modeled after the shiny. Knocking stuff off the walls over here. Here's Hubert. Always making noise in here. Got the swearing marquee. There's Galaga. This one's got the attract mode uh, sounds. High score save. I can also switch between slow and fast bullets, which is fun. Berserk, my favorite arcade game ever. Such a blast. This is the first game I bought uh, when I started collecting. And it'll never leave. Uh, next we got Joust. One of the best two-player games ever. So much fun. I love Joust. Here we got Sinistar. I uh, just got this one up and running about a month ago. This was a project that I picked it up. Uh, the cabin was pretty much empty. Had to kind of piece it together, but now it's together and it works great. Over here we got Centipede. Uh, this one's modified so you can play Centipede or Millipede. Uh, I think it's playing Millipede right now. Um, but another just fun game. Here's Tron. And this one's pretty much restored. It's in really, really good shape. Uh, the lights are low, so they can't really get the side art or anything, but it's uh, pretty beautiful. And then we got over here, Tron Legacy Pinball Machine. Um, I actually just installed the color dot matrix display uh, about an hour ago. So this is like the, the newest mod uh, in the game room right now. And then this one also pretty loaded up with modifications. So we've got the um, light up light cycles, recognizer, got the color changing fiber optic ramps, got a Flynn's arcade sign, uh, we got a Tron arcade machine inside the game that plays uh, scenes from the actual game. Pretty cool, like a pimp my ride kind of thing, got an arcade game for your arcade game. Tron's a good game. And then on this wall, hard to see, but some more science stuff. So we got uh, Dave Prowse who plays Darth Vader. 
Billy Zabka kicking You're down. You're messing with my butt. Zen thing, man. Oh, hey, Tron. Uh, this one's signed, oh, it's hard to see, from the Karate Kid. We've got Ralph Macchio and Billy Zabka. It's signed by both of them. And here we got Marty uh, Cove, who played the mean sensei. And then we got Sean Astin from the Goonies. Uh, and some signage that I picked up from another arcade. And then last game in here is Satan's Hollow. Really cool game. So this one I've got a... Uh, usually there's a black light back here, but I actually put a... Just a regular fl uh, fluorescent bulb with a red sleeve over it to give it that red glow. I think it just makes it look more evil. A cool game. And then real quick, let me do a quick little... Uh, wrap around the room. So I got these stripes I painted up there. I got, uh, got some Star Wars vehicles and stuff hanging from the ceiling. Uh, I got a topper for Berserk. Uh, signed by... Uh, the game, some marquees and stuff. I got a Darth Vader lightsaber action going on. And then I got a Kylo Ren one over here. Oh yeah. A little Pitbull. Back to the Future. Cool. All right, guys. See you next time.